Now I'm going to show you how to simply insert an image anywhere you want on a web page. So let's look at our table that we've made. And suppose I wanted to put that picture of myself right in this cell here, cell 3. It looks like it's uh, going to fit nicely in there. So let's go to our hand code and I'm going to eliminate the number 3 and I'm going to put the following tag in and it's just IMG like image without the A or the G and this is a tag that doesn't need you don't need to close the tag it's like paragraph and line break it doesn't need a closing tag now it needs an attribute the source equals that's the attribute SRC like source only without the vowels so we need a location to put in here so let's go into our folder my website we know it's in the images folder so we look in there and it's called Brian 2 and it's a JPEG image so here we can see images folder and this thing's going to be called Brian 2 dot it since it's a JPEG it's dot JPG so that's our relative URL so when we go to our document here the image source is going to be images forward slash brian2.jpg and we're using a relative URL because this file called handcode handcode is the name of the page and it's in the my website folder so the rules for relative URLs tell us that we have to do images forward slash brian2.jpg so we go here do file save and we go look at our web page and we hit refresh and you see now the picture is automatically populated into there and we could also go and let's make the background of this cell yellow so we go to hand code HTML and let's look at our color chart what yellow is and we go up and we find a nice yellow well, that's kind of like gold so it's four F's and two zeros so here's the cell so we need to put the attribute in here BG color equals don't forget the pound and it was four F's one two three four and two zeros and we go and hit file hit save and we go back to our web page hit refresh now you see there's yellow all around and if I wanted to put some text in there here's what the text would look like so right after the images we can do a little break so we put the text below and we can say this is Brian and see what that looks like file save and we go back to our page and hit refresh and right here it says this is Brian so you can put an image and text in the same cell and you could just do images you could just do text now in the conclusion there's something that I want you to pay attention to and that is practice and look up HTML hand coding with web tutor this is a full resource for you to go and learn even more tags I think I've given you a thorough introduction to hand coding but there's more that you can do in there and this web tutor is awesome I've had the permission to include it it's available for free in the recommended link section of this website you can use it as a reference and refer to it every time you're trying to edit a web page and it's a valuable resource and you can learn so much in there and it's it's definitely a nice reference for you to have so go to the recommended link section of this website and continue uh, just learning once in a while more things from web tutor I've given you the basic stuff that you use online most of the time but the web tutor gives you even more stuff that I haven't included in these videos